What's going on YouTube? Chiasna right here. So in today's video we're discussing about the iOS 12.1.4, iOS 12.2 and iOS 12.1.3 jailbreak. We're going to discuss what's currently going on and what problems we're going to face in the future with iOS 12.2 and of course which one is the best version to stay on if you want to jailbreak as soon as possible. So you probably know that iOS 12.2 has been released. Now this is actually both good and bad for the jailbreak community. You probably remember that I made a video a few days ago in which I talked about the security contents of the iOS 12.2 and I told you that there are a lot of vulnerabilities that have been patched in here including some kernel vulnerabilities which of course are available on iOS 12.1.4 and iOS 12.1.3. So definitely a great thing because by now these vulnerabilities may start to be published by the security researchers since they have been already fixed and there is no longer an obligation coming from Apple to keep these secret. So that's actually very good for jailbreaking. However, things are starting to get harder and harder. Pound to own actually managed to sum it up very well. He said, quote, jailbreaking is not dead and will never be, but it's getting considerably harder. He also said, quote, if it's true that Brendan Azad's PAC bypass was patched already, we will have some really hard time jailbreaking these devices in the future. Please stay on iOS 12.0 to 12.1.2. Now, Pound to own story is basically corroborated by other security security researchers as well. If you remember, John posted, quote, KASLR bypass and kernel-based finding code is impacted by iOS 12.2 for jailbreaking for some bugs and methods. Note how the kernel base isn't always some padding and 4000 anymore. Looks like KASLR has been improved. Now for those of you who do not know the KASLR or kernel address space layout randomization, it's actually a security technique introduced by Apple in these devices in order to basically randomize the addresses in the memory so that you cannot attack the kernel by knowing the address from reverse engineering with IDA Pro or whatever. So every time you boot your device, the uh, addresses will be randomized so that a specific object in the memory is never at the same address between multiple reboots. Now, this is actually a very good security measure, but of course it's been bypassed before, but it looks like Apple is now doing what they can in order to improve the KSLR to make the info leaks harder to do. And of course, in order to make the kernel based finding and KSLR bypass much, much harder. So that's actually in iOS 12.2, which means that iOS 12.1.4 and iOS 12.1.3 are the best versions to stay on for jailbreaking right now. Do not update iOS 12.2. It fixes a lot of vulnerabilities. It improves the KSLR, which makes it harder for us to exploit the kernel. And of course, there are currently no publicly available vulnerabilities for the iOS 12.2, while for iOS 12.1.3, there is already one out. And for iOS 12.1.4, we're going to get a sandbox escape exploit very, very soon. Now, if you look on the security patches in here, you can see that there are also some kernel vulnerabilities, and these may indeed be usable for a jailbreak in the future. However, as I said, these were all patched in iOS 12.2, so iOS 12.2 is the worst iOS version to be on if you want a jailbreak. However, if you want the most secure iOS version to date, definitely go to iOS 12.2. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I am Geo Snow. Until the next time, make sure you downgrade iOS 12.1.4 if you're running iOS 12.2 and save your blobs for the iOS 12.1.4. Do not update to iOS 12.2. As I said, it's the worst version to be on. Thank you for watching again. I am Geo Snow. Peace out.